Hi everyone, Sis Toys here. Um, I hope everyone is doing well and is staying safe. Um, today I'm here to review a little bit of science that we were taking a look at before we had left. So we started our earth science unit um, talking about a certain earth material. So if you remember what earth material we were looking at, go ahead and say it now. If you said water, you are right. Give me a virtual high five. So now that we have our earth material, let's go ahead and review. All right, so when we talk about earth materials, we are referring to any natural material that makes up or comes from earth, rocks, sand, air and water are earth materials. Now living organisms and things made by organisms are not considered earth materials. So we are going to keep our focus on water for now. With that being said, our focus question that we investigated was, what happens when water falls on different surfaces? <sighs> In order to take a closer look, we had different surfaces to test to see how water reacted to it. So our surfaces were waxed paper, aluminum foil, paper towel, and writing paper. We also used a dropper. And of course, can't forget our H2O, our water. So we took that dropper and individual drops of water and we placed it on these different surfaces and recorded our observation. So here I have our wax paper. Take a look at how my water is reacting to this surface. Here I have my water and my aluminum foil. Here we have the water and paper towel. And finally, we have the water and writing paper. I noticed that first look, it seemed as though the water droplets were sitting on top of the paper. But if you look closely, it started to absorb and sink into the paper. Mm -hmm. 
Many of you identified similarities and differences between the appearance of water on these different surfaces. We had found out that when water soaks into a surface, like the paper towel here, we said that the towel absorbed the water. When the water sat on top of the surface in drops, we called those drops beads and said that the water beads up on a waterproof surface. Out of these four surfaces, we had found out that two of those surfaces were waterproofed and two of the surfaces were absorbent. One way that we recorded our data to show this was by drawing a model. Models help scientists visualize and help in understanding things that can be hard to grasp. On our chart here, we were able to draw how we observed what happened when water came in contact with the materials. So for my wax paper box here, I'm just drawing the dome-shaped water droplet since my surface was very waterproof. For my paper towel, I noticed that it was super absorbent and the water easily sank into the surface. So here I am drawing. Now for the writing paper, um, it first sat as a dome shaped bead but after a while it sank into the surface. So it wasn't quite as absorbent as the paper towel, but it was not completely waterproof either. So here I have a smaller um, irregular shape that I am going to show that it sank into the surface. For the aluminum foil, just like the wax paper, it formed a dome-shaped bead on top of the surface. So here I am drawing the dome. So I definitely noticed a pattern here. Water beads up on smooth surfaces that were waterproof and water soaked into porous surfaces. Porous meaning having tiny spaces or holes that the liquid can pass through. Now what do you think might happen when rainwater falls on the playground? And what do you think happens to rainwater when it falls on a field with grass? What would be the similarities and what would be the differences? All right, friends, that was so much fun getting to hang out for a little bit. So until next time, please be safe, be healthy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.